Breaking, CNN admits Trump was right about Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico recently suffered devastation unlike anything they have dealt with in recent memory. While the U.S. territory is dealing with the complete destruction of their island, the left is trying to push their anti-Trump agenda. The only problem is this, one of the broadcasters on CNN admitted that there is a lot more help going to Puerto Rico than the network claims. Jake Tapper posted a tweet that reads, More than 11,800 federal staff representing 36 depths and agencies are on the ground in PR and news v, including 800-plus FEMA personnel. In other words, there are serious efforts underway to help Puerto Rico sort out their recovery efforts. Since the events of Hurricane Maria, the left has been working to paint a picture of Trump that is beyond inappropriate. They are trying to say that he doesn't care about the people in Puerto Rico, and that his response to the disaster is lagging. But how could that be so? The president immediately freed up troops and FEMA personnel and dispersed them to Puerto Rico, who would otherwise have nothing, no aid of any sort. This is not a disaster that can be solved in a day. Channels like CNN are refusing to directly acknowledge the fact that Trump is doing everything he can. He is not a magician, and he can't just wave a magic wand to fix the damage. It is going to take a lot of effort and involvement from the people on the mainland, as well as the ones in Puerto Rico to recover from this disaster. This is a time when we all need to unite, and the left is trying to divide us by claiming that the president is divisive. There are massive efforts from everyone involved in the recovery effort to help resolve some of the basic problems in Puerto Rico before rebuilding can occur. The first issue the island needs to attend to are supplying basic necessities like food and water. Bottlenecking was occurring at the ports around Puerto Rico. Employees did not unload any of the supplies because of the storm. Resolving that issue was, and remains, paramount to the people there. Furthermore, Elaine Duke visited the island Friday. She used a helicopter to survey the damage so that a plan can be assembled for rebuilding the most important structures, as well as restoring the island's infrastructure. CNN's Jake Tapper tweets numbers of massive help in Puerto Rico. Are they admitting Trump was right? Instead of being praised for her efforts, Duke was fiercely attacked by people like Mayor Carmen Yulin Cruz, who insinuated that everyone is dying in Puerto Rico. Essentially, she believes that the president doesn't care about them. The president, and our military, are doing everything they can to assist Puerto Rico, but the media wants to remain blind to this obvious truth. The proof is in the numbers, and you can see it for yourself. The news surrounding this issue is unlikely to stop bubbling to the surface anytime soon, relief efforts remain underway, and of course, the left stands poised to be as oppositional as they can possibly be they'll stop progress and endanger lives in the name of furthering their political agenda.